Fiat 124 Spider Abarth has been called the Fiat, the Olive Garden of the automotive industry because it's not really Italian. But is it any good? Is it any different than the Miata? That's what we're going to find out here today on Rumblestrip.net and 10 Minute Test Drive. And it's a shout out wearing the St. John Virgin Island hat. Uh, heartfelt uh, prayers go out to everyone who survived two hurricanes out there. Be strong, love city. maybe a year or so since we've driven the ND Miata and you haven't seen that video because the files are half corrupted and I just never bothered to piece it all together so sorry to Mazda on that uh, but I enjoyed our time with that car had a lot of fun with it uh, I think I still have a few photos I can roll in uh, but you know it's it's a Miata it was fun it was always an event going to drive the car is this Fiat, Fiat version of it, just as good. TLDR, yes, it's it's a lot of fun, it's very good. Is it that much different than the Miata? Not really, to be honest with you. Uh, is there sus some suspension tuning that's different? Yes, I believe so, but in day-to-day -day driving, you don't really notice it that much. So what are the major differences between these two? Honestly, it's mostly just styling and a little bit of suspension tweaks, and of course the transmission. The Mazda, you have a naturally aspirated engine. With the Fiat, you have a 1.4 liter turbo engine, which is just about the same amount of horsepower, uh, but much more torque. Is that, does that, is that a difference maker? And, and I will say just a little bit, because this does seem to have much more bottom end pull. That's not to say it has a lot, or that it's a torquey engine, because it really isn't. Uh, you know, if you're rolling at five miles an hour and you're in second gear and you're used to other manual cars, well, I'm not gonna put it back in first gear. You almost really need to put it back in first gear when you're rolling, say, under 10 miles an hour, because it's just not, it doesn't have that much torque. Overall, it's fun, it's zippy, it's exactly what you'd expect. We're gonna flip around here, because I don't feel like driving on the dirt road and getting my couple of my lenses all that dirty here you know in day-to-day -day driving it's fun it's a blast we've had the top down almost the entire time actually coming on out here to shoot this video uh, it actually rained and we had to pull over and put the top up and you know that takes five seconds in fact well okay 15 seconds here's how quick let's just do this and we'll show you here in real time. Here's how quickly you can put up the top. Reach behind you, pull that up, reach up, bang, bang, you're done. And then when you're ready to go back down, there you again, you're done that fast. Can't ask for much more than that. You don't need a power top at something, you know, that's that light and it's that quick. Uh, you know, could you do it at speed? Well, you know, probably five, 10 miles an hour wouldn't be that much of a problem. Fuel economy, I don't know, it gets some. Um, I think it's rated at like 35 highway, 30 combined. That's probably about right. Uh, you drive this car, you're not really concerned so much about the fuel economy. Uh, it's kind of a bonus that you can drive it and have fun with it. Trunk space, you can get two small bags in there. You can get some groceries, but you're not making a long trip or if you are, it's by yourself and you're not packing very heavy. If you wanna get away with your significant other for a weekend, you could probably do that with a couple light bags, but that hasn't changed ever from what the Miata ever was. What this car does do, and it goes into a philosophical debate, which we'll touch on here briefly, but is probably good for a longer discussion. This does reaffirm the goodness of small light cars. 
just being just how quickly it turns and moves and the spaces you can place it in it's been for that reason it's a lot of fun you know would we like to have more power in it yes not a ton not a ton but a little bit more power for this reason you go hard down all the time to try and get up to speed and yes that can be fun but there are times when you'd like not to be driving at 10 tenths to have fun you'd like to drive at six or seven tenths now it's a fine balance because then you have too much power and you can never put your foot all the way down and really experience the power again philosophical debate and it, a lot of it depends on where you live here in the metro detroit area or southeast michigan there's not a lot of curvy roads so being able to put your foot down and experience the power is uh, is a much more satisfying thing because of because there aren't a lot of curvy roads you're not able to push very hard you know and and, and really experience true sports carness another thing and this goes up to again to the philosophical statement is we're selling the Mustang, we've had enough of it. I mean, it, not that it's bad, it's just, yeah, I'm ready to move, we're ready to move on. And there's a question of what's gonna be the next fun car. And a Miata is, of course, in that list because a used one, you can get for, you know, three to $6,000. It's a lot of fun. You know, you can drive it all year round. You just put winter tires on it and they're great in the winter. Don't let anyone tell you differently because we've done it. We've actually driven a Miata in the winter uh, on winter tires and it was fine. How does that relate to this Fiat 124? Same car, same thing. You know, you get the Italian style. Okay, cool. Um, but is it a car that we would actually buy? I wanna say yes, used Miata and even a new Miata. Would we buy it? Yes. The problem is, is again, in this area, it's hard to really thrash this thing and use it for the fun it is on back roads now if you want to go do auto crossing and track days yes you can the nice thing about it is is that even like with this Fiat 124 you're not going to use a lot of tires you're not going to use a lot of brakes so it is fairly economical to run in one of those things you know spare set of wheels and tires if you want some super stickies and and you're good right a couple other things to touch on it has the Maz Mazda infotainment system here not our favorite never has been still isn't no Apple CarPlay, no Android Auto. This one doesn't have navigation. It doesn't have Sirius XM, which at $30,000 is a miss. Uh, you know, we plugged in uh, the phone and ran the navigation on the phone and we're listening to a podcast and Google Maps wouldn't, couldn't talk over the, uh, through the USB when we were listening to the podcast. These are little things I understand, but maybe they're a thing to you because if you're listening to a podcast and you've got your... Uh, your navigation app running and you're trying to get somewhere unless you're paying attention which means you're looking down here you know you may miss a turn you may go miles past your point it's a thing right so end of the day Fiat 124 Spider or Barth good car absolutely $30,000 fair value absolutely should you buy this why not uh, the advantage here is that there's a million, literally a million Miatas running around. Actually, probably more than a million. Uh, this isn't as common, which makes it better. You have Italian style. Could it be better? Sure, but it's fine. It, you know, it harkens back to the old 124 Spider, and it's close enough. Awkward in spots in design, yes, but it's fine. It looks good. People still look at you driving this thing. Um, and it's different from the Miata, so that's great. But it's all the fun, all the reliability of a Miata, which means you're gonna be able to drive it for 300,000 miles and never have any worries. So, can we recommend this car? Absolutely. Should you buy it? Why not? Um, we've enjoyed our week with it. We'd like to keep it a little longer, but it goes back here today. In fact, uh, in about an hour and 45 minutes. So, um, you know, could we have it for another couple of weeks? Would that be a better way to say yes or no I, I think so living it with it for two or three weeks or a month probably is a better uh better deal than a month but in the end i think we'd be happy with it if we were to buy it with our own money and spending our own money would we do it yes and i think that's the ultimate tell of whether it's good or not and we would spend our own money on this